Hi there. Hello. Don't ever put your jumper that's made of wool through the wash and then dry it really hotly because this used to be here. This used to be here. Now it looks like shit. But we're still gonna rock it. Also, if you didn't um, if you don't know about our, our quaint intros, we are jungle beats. We review and react to music from all over the world, hip hop predominantly. And um, we come from Australia. There's no one else in Australia doing this. We thought we gotta put us on the map. We gotta start changing the culture. We gotta start reviewing music. And we have been for the last two years. So, and now we're doing Kaliuchis. Kaliuchis. The Colombian beauty. She is quite beautiful. I've she heard is. no music from her except on features. Oh, I do things to her I wouldn't do to a farm animal. <laughs> Uh, I've only heard I've heard the features she did with Tyler I've heard some of her singles beforehand and they've been beautiful and after the storm yeah I haven't everything she's done so far she has a certain style that she goes to she has a certain voice that she uses in a certain way and I've enjoyed it so I'm excited to hear what she's going to do for full full project if she keeps that whole sort of trend or if she mixes up a bit so it's her first it's her first album a, a debut album Galiuchis Isolation. We're gonna go body language intro into Miami featuring BIA. Let's get it. Let's so start off now with this. Oh, that sound is iconic though. It's just, you could, you, that's, just, that's my producer there. Can okay, you write that down? No, it's not, it's just nah, that's her. BIA. BIA. Oh man. I, I wish. She could feel like that. Bro, we would have been. Oh. BIA is dope, dope. She's almost as good as MIA. Dope opener. Upon first listen, I can't find fault with those first two tracks. Oh, I didn't really like the intro. I would have done without the intro, but I know, I see why it's there because it has so much of an influence through. Right. Her heritage, That's where she's from, I think. it's very important. It's yeah, very no. important. Um, but I didn't care so much for the intro, despite that. But this track right here, absolutely beautiful. Her vocal display is what I've come to know from her, and just the way that she uses her voice, she manipulates it so well on the beat and the the feature there, BIA. Oh, we wished it was her. Oh, we man. wished it was Ka Cali. I was, I was wishing it was Cali so much because then the love for her would have just grown so much. But seriously, BIA would fucking kill that shit. Hundred percent. Really we fucking might need dope. to check her out for real. Oh, for real, definitely. She's. I'm gonna see what she's putting in the out. That was a dope verse. Um, great opener, loving it. I'm definitely gonna add this particular track to my playlist. Like this is dope. Like you said before, seductive, sexy. Oh. I think mm. Kali is very good at holding notes very well, especially in the opener. She mm. held the. Excuse me. She held the tunes very well. Um, so very. Uh, <laughs> seems very talented her ability to sing. Just a stranger featuring your man Steve Lacey. Hey. <laughs> she don't want love, she wants my hundred dollar bill. Let's go. She's a hurricane, feel the earth change. Watching from the glaciers, cause you can't take the danger.
always the end though. Otherwise, we should repent it. Beautiful. 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 Did he? Because if that repeated one more time, it would have been too much. We could have had a stinker. Exactly. But the fact that it didn't repeat one more time made it a good track. And did you notice at the start, Steve didn't overuse the hook. He came in three times and he left. Yep. But at the end, he did a little bit more. I'm like, okay, I'm okay. done now. I kind of like it though, because do you know how they do the, she wants my hundred dollar bills, he you don't want, want love. But then he does that twice. But the third and fourth time, they just say hundred and then they don't say the rest. And then they sort of echo a bit and then Callie does her own thing. It's a good way to do a repetitive hook in a not repetitive manner. Exactly. You keep it vibrant. Uh, love her voice. Love the beat. Steve's, cause Steve, and also have you noticed that Steve Lacey, Tyler Crater, and Kelly Uchis have all done stuff together? Because Steve Lacey and Kelly Uchis are on the same track on Tyler's album. There you go. So That's nice, man. Just, they're all talented fucking artists. Very. Um, not as good as the first track, but still but a She's doing track. something a little bit different here. We're, we're getting a, a little more happier, a colourful uh, oh, yeah. vibe. She's basically saying maybe she's, there's so many men out there that she's meeting. She's like, they don't want love, they just want me for my money. That's kind of what the track's saying. He want my $100 bills, he doesn't want love. I don't know. I, 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 would assume, I would think, like, without hearing the track, I would think logic would say, no, the guy would want sex first. They would want the woman. Well, I, I, think, I, thought, I, th I would think that usually happens the reverse. Reverse the other way with the genders more often. But no, well, she doesn't mention that at all. Though it's, it's money and love. Was she putting love and sex together, or was money included with the sex? Is she looking for love? But every time she finds someone, she, they end up just wanting her for her money instead. Kylie, let us know. You know, you know, just DM us. You know, hit us up. You know, we won't want you for your money. Yeah, just be careful. Janae Echo might care a bit then. Woo! Flight twenty-two. <laughs> I really like that man. I think she's demonstrate. I, you might think, yeah, but I think she's demonstrating another direction of sound. She's keep, she's like just building, just you showing us, a, showing us a different. I just took the tie out. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Continue, continue. I think she's going in a different, like she's showing us different elements of her sound, and um, I th I quite like it. I think her voice control and pitching on this track was really beautiful. Mm -hmm. but I thought the beat was really boring and original. I feel like after the production oh, we've heard... Oh, you said something you, th you thought Tyler created, produced, that you'd see on Scumfuck Flower Boy. Yeah. But Tyler's not on this track. See, if Tyler was on the track, the production would be fine. If Tyler was... No, the production... Mm, well, Tyler would make the production more lively through his vocals. I feel like because Callie's vocals are so slow and smooth on this track, it doesn't... The, the, the production is also so smooth. Like, like, imagine if Tyler... Fucking, it's perfect, man. Nah. It's perfect. I don't think so. I think after the... I feel like because the production on the first two tracks in the intro had a bit more to it, this track was stripped a lot more bare, which, I don't know, gives more power to her voice, but I personally believe her voice doesn't have a huge amount of range, but with the range that she has, she does a lot with it. Show them, Callie. Your teeth in my Didn't neck. Didn't care for this track. Overstaying her wealth, you look like a damn fool. <laughs> She's <laughs> I'm like, oh shit, that's what he looks like. You know, fuck it, keep it, keep it, hundred percent. 
She's not, she's not overstaying her welcome. She's not having these dragged out hooks, dragged out instrumentals. She's, she's just doing her thing in a short amount of time. And again, such a I, sweet track. I agree with you with the not overstaying your welcome. I feel like what she's doing is smart. I actually think that maybe Steve Lacey had something to do with the production here because it sounded like something that he would be on. Bert is fucking doing that here, here like a bunch of... <laughs> but um, I like the production a lot more on this track than the last track, but once again, I wasn't... Uh, it didn't do much for me. It was kind of a little same same for me. Like, you know, you know, and you know. Like, I wasn't big on it. I, like, I don't really like it that much. I'm sorry. It's all right, Callie. I love you, and I actually quite enjoyed this one. Um, Again... It's just, damn, that cover is nice. No. <laughs> um, it's sweet. It was sweet. And um, she's coming on the next track with Jora Smith. She's coming on the next track? <laughs> with, did you say with Georgia Smith? Yeah. Yo, are they coming together? She... God damn. And the world's so violent. Wait, what's that from? I just read the lyrics. <laughs> oh, I was like, what? Now, I know what you're going to say, and I agree with you. This is the least enjoyable track. It's the most repetitive. It should have been a one-minute track, really. It should have been an interlude. That's what I was going to say. Um, Joris, Georgia Smith, though, was, was... Yeah, thanks for your five-second feature, Georgia. No, it was, it was a nice little input. Would have liked a bit more, but... Um, yeah. you, know what, like, you know what this feature really showed me? With Kaliukas. Uchis. You've noticed that with the way that she does, that does these tracks, she likes layering her vocals a lot. By laying her voice on top of hers like two, three, four times. And I think her range is very limited. With George's verse, she didn't lay her vocals at all because her voice is so strong and her voice is such a big range. It just shows the difference between the artists so much. I don't think Georgia... I think she was okay on here, but I feel like that her and Callie just have such a different sound. It was very hard for them to sound good together. Um, See, I feel different. I feel like they work well together. I think Georgia's high pitch with the Colombian type of nice tenor, you know. I don't know, I found this track once again quite boring. I'm not, uh, not very. I don't know the, I don't know. I like the first two tracks, but I'm not. I haven't liked the last three. Now that was the least enjoyable for me too. So I feel you on that. That's just boring. Next track is dead to me. That's that's pretty big. What if she's talking about her mother's car? Probably. It's <laughs> probably it, bro. Cracked the code. You fucking cracked the Da Vinci code. <laughs> yeah. you, do you want to laugh on that one? Yeah. Bubbling. <laughs> what the fuck? This almost sounds like a different artist. This is the worst track. Hold on, hold on. There you go. Ugh. This song is terrible. The production doesn't suit her at all. I'm sorry, like it's 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 way too poppy. She don't need to do this, man. Now that was the this, worst track on the album. This ain't her. The, the, sorry, this is my. I don't know you. <laughs> Fuck. It could be you. This, <laughs> this is this. This wasn't the direction that it seemed to be going in. Like I'm confused now. Like this yeah. is because like a lot of the tracks so far we've heard have been different, but they've been they've, they've, you know they've sort of gone well into the next track. Like it's still sort of a sound that works. Yeah. Whereas this is the first track where it's like it's so different from everything she's done, and like. The whole sort of Euro sort of 
poppy bounces mm. up to it. Fuck that oh, off. Oh, it's terrible. And Fuck those, that right off. Those synths doesn't match that sound at all. Yeah. I don't know what you were thinking with those synths. Adding some hard future synths on this shit. Like, the fuck? Like, in your vocals? We've got enough of that. We've got enough of that in music, do we not? Oh, yeah, we have man. enough fucking artists trying to do that. This track is Sorry, terrible. I, didn't, I don't mean to swear. Sorry. Oh, man. This album started off so strong to me. And now it's just like, I just don't give a fuck. Well, hold on. We've got to give some fucks. Because... <laughs> You know, yeah, I'll give some fucks to her. I know that you, I know you think I'm in there for the money, but really I'm just in it for the pussy girl. <laughs> it's all come out now. <laughs> yeah, it came out, came out all right. All inside Nuestro Planeta, featuring not Raekwon, but Raycon, like <laughs> like Akon. Also, she stole she stole Raven Lanay's. Uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, from Sticky, she stole that shit. You think so? Yeah, she stole that shit from Maybe Raven. They got beef. Yo. Ra- Raven Lene versus Cali Uches. Beef. Fuck out of my space. Sounds like a Drake track. Oh, you think the production? Sounds oh, like yeah. sounds like a ever one dance. Yeah. It, it sounds just like one dance. That's a good point. This is like, like how about I make a single that's Euro? What's the Euro? What's the Euro pop? Is Euro pop? Yeah, yeah. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, Euro pop. Yeah, it sounds like one dance. Hey, it's Drake. Yo, it's Raekwon from Wu Tang Clan. Dude, he's even trying to be Drake. It's the Colombian Drake. That's it is. Dude, he just sounds like he wants to be Drake. He must be a he must be a, he must be a big artist in Colombia. It's like she started off the album with the best track she recorded, and it's like each track that the album each each new track the album has, it gets progressively worse. That's how the album's honest, honestly. That's how the album's been for me. Every single track from two to three to four to five, it's gotten from great. To progressively worse and worse and worse and worse. Now, so oh, here you go, here you go. The production I get you on. He said it sounded a bit like a one dance contemporary like pop thing. It sounded like a Drake one dance. Right. It's like a Colombian one dance. That I, fair enough. Oh, I feature. However, I re, I'm a, I love the Colombian type of singing and vibe. I love when they sing in a different language. It really works with me. Okay. And, um, so I could fuck with that side of it. I could okay. fuck with the vocals. Okay. Um. And I thought it wasn't a bad track, uh, but I get definitely get the merit in your in your argument. You're right. It wasn't a bad track. It was just trash. <laughs> Fuck me, man. I could dance to that, you know, in a club or with with with, even with my girl. You know, I could I could get up and just you know. If I came to the club, I could move to it and then kill myself later on the night. <laughs> if it gets me pussy, fuck it. Look, we'll listen to fucking JPEG Mafia and Death Grips. Like, if if it gets pussy, right? It don't matter what. How is JPEG Buffer gonna get you pussy? Well, you know what? <laughs> Please let me know. Cause so far it's been like we're going down. <laughs> when was that? Was Can't make milk. Nah, no, because we never went up. <laughs> we never went up. <laughs> <laughs> Nice okay, imagine the track with Tyler coming on now. It'd make a lot of sense after no. that interlude. I never realized this, but look how big my nail on this finger is compared to the other one. Dude, I push her cuticles back. What? These are called cuticles? You gotta push them back. Again, a bit too repetitive on that one, man. Um, I like the interlude, but that track 
Production, uh, her voice, uh, boring. Yeah, it's getting a bit same samey um, oh, right oh, now. Man. I think uh, if she cut this down to like nine tracks, she could have something a lot more uh, exciting. On the bright side, it was better than the last two tracks. So you got that going for you, Callie. Coming home interlude into After the Storm featuring Oof. Tyler, the creator. Mm. Which you already know is the best track on this album. Where's this Cali been? Where's this thing? One of the highlight tracks right here. It's one of the best tracks of this year, and it's the best song that I have. Oh, album. you you talking 2018? Yeah. Mm. It's a beautiful track. They Production work so well together. <sighs> oh, the the interlude to this track and this track very reminiscent of um, Scumfuck Flowerboy, especially the interlude. Yep. They work so well together. I reckon if Tyler did a whole album with her, I think the same shit. I like that it, would it's work. clearly it's clearly the best track in this album. The first track is probably very the one that's the closest to being the best with it. It's fucking beautiful. Production, her voice, and like did you notice towards the end she switched up with the with the different like sort of bridge in the end there, but her other tracks in this album have been a bit too repetitive. Like this here. Yeah, that's when she's at her best when exactly. she's switching it up vocally. And especially because her voice doesn't have the hugest range. So I think it's really good when she constantly switches it up. Whereas on the, some of the similar tracks, the beat's been a little bit too so-so for me and she just hasn't switched up. That's why I liked some of the first few tracks because she kept them shorter. But then when she kept them shorter on the other ones, they were just too repetitive, it didn't matter. But uh, this is a beautiful track. It's one of my favorite tracks of the year. And the reason, well, my, the reason why I wanted to check out this album and uh, it's been all right. Second last track, Feel Like a Fool. Just Very Amy Winehouse like. That's a good comparison. <laughs> See, this is really, this is really fucking dope. See, vocally, she's pushing herself a little more now. Oh, just, yeah. Just pushing a little bit. She hits those high notes beautiful. Yeah, it's just, she doesn't, she just not, she's good at carrying a note, but. And I love her ahead. on this production as well. Very, very Amy Winehouse production wise, in my opinion. She kind of looks like a caramel Amy Winehouse in some ways in this cover. A, caram a caramello Amy Winehouse. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know, she can mix my caramel with my caramel. I don't get it. Can you yeah, please can you please elaborate? Yeah, well, my bad. I mean, mix her caramel with my, my, my caramel. <laughs> I said my and my. So you want to mix both of your caramels together? It was an accident. You want to fuck yourself, it's okay. I understand that. I'm Sometimes I look in the mirror and want to fuck myself. But yeah, I really, <laughs> I, I fucking, I think that's a really good track. I love hearing, I, I love hearing on that sort of production. I want to hear more on her and that sort of stuff. That was really amazing. Her vocals were beautiful. Great track. Absolutely great track. Great track. Let's hope it closes out with this last track here with Killer. Um, yeah, exactly what we want. I want to hear from her. Oops. Look at that sort of western guitar going. What that? It kind of sounds like she's in a saloon. You know, you walk to the saloon, the cowboys, the cowboys, and there's like someone on the fucking piano, some guy's playing the western guitar. And she's like, it sounds like she's singing, like singing in a saloon. I 
Aliuchis. Last way to finish the album. Killer. Um, I think I can deal with that repetitiveness for a closer. Because mm. I feel like that type of cadence has a, has a place at the end of an album. Yeah. I like the keys. I like the violin. I like the guitar. To me, it was quite... Like I said, it, was, um, it felt like I was entering a saloon. And, and in the saloon, there was like the bar. And she just came out to the stage and did her thing. That's kind of the vibe and scenery I got from that. Um, to wrap it up, yeah. isolation as a whole. Do your thing, man. I think it's an average album. I know it's her first album. I feel like she tried a lot of stuff in this album. A lot of it worked. Yeah, a lot of it didn't work. The good tracks on here are really good, but the bad tracks on here are really bad. There's no, there's no middle ground for me. Um, I, won't, I probably won't go back to this album to listen to from start to finish. I'd probably go back to the tracks. I really like the first track, the second track, and the track we had with Tyler. The track with Tyler and the track after that that I felt had the very Amy Winehouse feel. So all in all, there's probably four tracks on here I love. And the rest of this album is forgettable. Right. So I don't think it's that good an album, but I'm glad I checked it out. There's some great tracks in here that I'll go back to. She's got a lot of promise. I think that she definitely needs to work on finding sounds that work well with her voice. Because I think she has a beautiful voice, but I think her voice has a certain production that sounds right. good. I don't think it sounds good on anything. That would be my main critique as well. My main critique for her before I get into why I liked it was that the re- some of the repetitiveness and trying to mold trying to experiment with a sound that I don't think worked. Mm. But you know what? First album, I'll give you a pass on some of that stuff. Just, um, you know, we'll see what happens next. Mm. But that's the stuff I have critique on as well. Yeah, so um, I guess good job, Kelly. I'm excited to hear what else you got to keep doing. It. Just because I don't like this album doesn't mean I don't like you. I think you're a really cool artist. You've got a very unique sound. I hope you go far. Do yeah. an album with Tyler. In mm. fact, put out a sex tape with him. Fuck it. Whoa. And to wrap up my thoughts, um, you know, a lot of the reasons you didn't like, I actually liked. So, uh, like, I will be going back to this album many times. I, re- I really enjoyed it. And I, I, a lot of the tracks I did enjoy. Um, there's just a couple moments on here that, that were subpar. However, I think she's sweet. I think it's a, it's a nice, adds a nice Colombian flavor at times. And, um, you know, I think her voice and uh, does a lot for me. And uh, a lot of the times on production, when she did it well, she did it really well. And so I, I, re- I really enjoyed this. And um, that's it. Isolation, man. We're Jungle Beats. Jungle Beats. We, we eat fried fish. Walk it like I talk it. Walk it like I talk it. Walk it in my Hold on, hold on. Do you know how many times I say that? Hold on, real quick. Do you know how many times I say that? Yeah, like 56 times. 17 times to start it. Nice. Seventeen. I was I was doing it. Yeah. By myself, and I was like one. Walk it. I got talk it. Two. Walk it. I got talk. Seventeen. Seventeen times, amigos. You wonder why we don't review a shit. Well, you're not wondering. You don't give a fuck about us. But that's cool, man. Whatever. We cooling. Walk it. Walk it like I talk it. Walk it. Walk it like I talk it. Woo. Walk it like I talk it. Talk it. Walk it like I talk it. Hey. Walk it like I talk it. Walk it. Walk it like I talk it.